Hi everyone, um, welcome here back here to uh, Busy Bee Budgets. Uh, for once I actually said my own channel name right, which is uh, quite impressive, uh, especially as I'm filming this quite early in the morning. So um, I just thought I'd run you through where I am for my May budget. Um, so my month starts on the 8th of May because that's when I get paid. Um, and so I've done my budget now um, ahead of payday in a couple of, of days. Um, and uh, May's gonna be like a five week month for me. Um, and obviously in here we've got the May, uh, the Jubilee bank holiday as well. So that's kind of something to be aware of. But um, so five weeks, uh, 6th to 13th, 13th to the 20th, 20th to the 27th, 27th to the 3rd and 3rd to the 10th of June. Um, so those are kind of how I've done my weeks for my budget. Um, and my goals for this month are, I'd like to have 10 no spend days, which is what I achieved in um, April, but I'd also like to get 250 quid from sales. And that means stuff um, on Marketplace and eBay and Vinted. I've got loads of stuff to sell and I really wanna set myself a goal to actually do it because I don't know about you. I say I've got loads of things to sell and then they just sit around and I never do it. And I'm hoping that this will give me the motivation to do it. So I thought if I set myself a target and I've kind of got something I wanna use it for, then that should hopefully get me going. So um, yeah, that's my my goals for this month. Um, in terms of income, um, salary is gonna be 5,000. Um, it's actually 5,030, but what I do is keep 30 pounds back for a bit of a buffer, and I'll talk elsewhere about what else I do for a buffer. Um, and then I'm uh, predicting two lots of side hustle income. So the first is um, 375 for my social uh, media stuff, um, and that's already come in, so I know I've got that. Um, and then 250, which as I say, is like what I want to um, get off eBay and other things. Um, so I've set myself that as an income goal. But what I've done when I do my budget is I've kind of not included those two figures, which uh, 375 plus 250 comes to 65. So I've kept that back um, for something outside of my sinking funds, if that makes sense. Um, in terms of fixed bills, um, household's gone up to 1500 quid, because probably like most of you, Sorry, just having my coffee now. Um, most of you, um, it uh, gas and electric's gone up, so I think my gas and electric bill is now three hundred and twenty pounds, um, which is outrageous. Um, so what I've done is increased uh, my household bill, so that covers my mortgage, my water, my council tax. Though I am expecting council tax rebate this month um, for the the fuel payment that everyone's getting. Um, it covers internet, it covers our TV, it covers our um, mobile phone, it covers our pet insurance, our life insurance. Kind of all of the grown up bills, if you like, come out of that account, um, and that gets 1500 quid a month. Um, I've got my gym at 90, um, I've got various subscriptions at 50, um, car tax at 12, and then loan at 750. So all of my um, fixed bills come in at 2,402. Um, so I have gone through and done my five week uh, variable if you like cash stuffing um so my budget is i've been um had a reduced food budget over the last few weeks because my husband's been away and that's actually worked quite well um he's going to be away for the first couple of weeks and then probably back after that so i'm um planning on 80 quid for every week but i'm hoping that some weeks will be over and some weeks will be under and it'll kind of even itself up but we'll kind of take a look at that um and that might be something in june that we increase um fuel at 80 um, I haven't been spending all my fuel money or certainly this month it's kind of I've got more than I need so we might take a view on that I'm still not really traveling much at all for work or for anything else really um, so we'll keep an eye on that but obviously fuel prices being what they are I thought it'd be better to be kind of over um, to be more confident about it um, and sorry if you can hear loads of background noise I like all the school kids walk past my house um, and it's that time in the morning so apologies if you can hear any background noise um, self care is getting 150 this month. Um, obviously, previously I spent a bit more on it because I was having some skin treatment. Um, but this will cover. I need a haircut. I haven't had one since January, and um, I have like a massage a couple of times a month. So that will cover that, um, and maybe a little bit of extra um, to start. I don't know whether or not to start a separate sinking fund for self care um, for sort of some of the bigger things that I want, but we'll kind of just see how that goes. So yeah, that's getting 150. Social is getting 100. Um, obviously. I'm thinking it'll be a reasonably social month just because of the jubilee and like the weather's getting nicer isn't it people are kind of doing stuff so i've popped 100 into social and um, miscellaneous gets 50 and that's just for anything that i haven't thought of in other areas um spends 
is getting 200 um, and mainly that's higher this month because I want or I need some new um, earphones because mine have stopped charging and I'm trying to walk regularly and um, just having those earphones just means that like that's much more enjoyable for me so I've kind of budgeted that in this month so I think they're like 110 pounds um, for the iPhones I, uh, for the airpods I want to get um, so I factored that in and then kind of everything else. So spends is kind of my little treats myself, like a book, a coffee when I'm out and those types of things. But obviously this month is a little bit more, but as self-care is a lot lower than last month, I kind of figured it works away out. And then um, giving is getting 50 or 10 pound a week, uh, which is my kind of give to charity and um, various other things that I want to do. So um, if I take 5,000, because that's obviously all I'm, I'm not counting the side hustle income at the moment, uh, minus 2,400 for fixed bills, and then minus 1,030, uh, 1, nice if it was 130, wouldn't it? Uh, 1,030 for my variable funds, that leaves me with 1,568 left over. Um, so what I'm gonna do this month is, I'm not counting my side hustle money, I've got something different for that. Um, and I'm doing this um, snowball um, thing for my um, sinking funds, which, um, I saw, I think I'm wearing my budgets first and I just really like the idea and last month because of um, some of the stuff I bought I needed to reorganise my sinking fund so last month I fully funded my emergency fund for a thousand pounds and then what I'm going to as I've got 15, 68 left over what I'm going to do is keep 68 as a buffer and as I said I've got 30 up here for a buffer as well so I may need to have about a hundred pounds going into my buffer and if I could do that every month and obviously over the year that would give me a really good solid buffer and also help to supplement my um, emergency fund so I'm going to try and do that so that odd 68 is doing that so I'm left with 1500 um, and what I'm going to do is fully stuff health and gifts which are um, two of my sinking funds um, so those will both be fully funded and I'm going to put a thousand pounds towards my financial goals so I'm kind of doing a thousand pound a month towards financial goals and then I'm using the rest of the balance of the um, sinking fund money um, to fully stuff that. So um, at the end of this month, what that will give me is a fully stuffed emergency fund, fully stuffed health and fully stuffed gifts. And then next month I'll move on, vets is next um, and then some other bits and pieces. So all of that is kind of my plan for May, um, which feels like the variable stuff kind of feels comfortable now. I think. It seems to be okay if you have like really, like basically if nothing pops up out of the ordinary. So you're just having like a ordinary month or ordinary week, that seems to work really well. I think it's when the extra stuff seems to pop up. So I'll keep an eye on it because obviously with five weeks, there's just that risk that something else could go either wrong or you're invited to something and you haven't budgeted it for you. Um, so we're gonna do that. Um, and then my side hustle money, so I've got, I'm aiming for 625. Worst case scenario, it'd be 375, but I'm aiming for that 65. I want to put it towards um, garden makeover. So um, we're, uh, someone's coming to do our decking um, this week. Um, and um, so that's all paid for, we've paid for that. But what I do want to do is um, add some plants to it and just make it a really lovely outdoor space. Um, we're spending more time at home because we're working from home. And also um, we're not kind of going away on holidays and stuff at the moment as much I just want to make sure the garden's really lovely and a really lovely social space and that we can have people over and that we can enjoy it all the time um, so it's just going to give us that extra space outside so this month I'm going to put um, the side hustle money towards um, doing the garden again that'd be a one-off thing um, but I just think it's kind of worth investing um, and doing it before like we get right into the summer when um, perhaps I don't know about you, but stuff seems to get sold out that I want. I might, um, I also want a parasol for the garden. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can get one of those out of the budget. Um, and then, yeah, plants and greenery and just make it all look lovely. So that's kind of the plan for May. Um, in terms of, um, I haven't got anything major. We've got the Jubilee obviously at the end. We're going to a gig on the Saturday, but um, I haven't got too much else booked in. Um, so I'm hoping it kind of stays that way just so that we can have like quite a clean budget in May um, and then see where we get to in June. Um, yeah, and that's kind of it really. So I feel kind of good about it. Um, it's, this will be month four and I just think it's been really good to see how we kind of unfolded and um, things have moved on. If I look back to like my February budget, I think, whatever that is. Um, I probably didn't even put it in this book. I think I just did it on a bit of paper. Um, yeah, so end of February budget, um, much I was doing it. So, um, yeah, in terms of sinking funds, like financial goals is getting kind of stuffed. Um, 
I'll have fully funded emergency and then um, I'm not uh, funding clothes at the moment um, so I'm on a no spend buy for clothes um, and then treats what I'm doing is just if I have any rollover from each month then that's going into my treats folder um, so it's kind of I've reworked the sinking funds um, as they're going and I'm sure I'll continue to do that um, but it will be good just to see how that pans out so in my next video I'll do my cash stuff for um, week one of May and then after that I'll be doing um, the sinking funds stuffing um, to do that so um, I hope to see you in my next video I hope you're having a good week um, yeah I think maybe just a bank holidays made everyone feel a bit more positive it feels like a bit nicer but um, we'll see what's going to happen and uh, yeah I hope you take care see you soon and I'll see you in the next video